Covering safety in schools, Clay County Superintendent Addison Davis says the district is, as he put it, good to go when it comes to hiring and training school safety officers for the new school year. Davis says when students return August 14th, every elementary school will have a safety officer and every junior and senior high will have a school resource officer. News 4 Jacks reporter Chris Parento has a look at these new hires. Unlike some of the other districts in our area, the school safety officers who have been hired here will be ready to go for day one when Clay County starts school again in just a couple of weeks. Combined, these school safety officers have more than 200 years of military and law enforcement experience. 30 new school safety officers will start the year in Clay County schools. Superintendent Addison Davis says being in compliance with the new state law was his only option. That's the expectation in Clay County is that we meet every expectation and we're in compliance with uh, the governor's mandate. So it feels good that we're able to have a great marketing plan. We needed to fill 30 positions and we had over 80 applicants to apply. Of the 30 hires, Davis says they bring 227 years of military experience, 214 years of law enforcement experience, 47 years of fire rescue experience, and 35 years of private security experience. When you saw the previous experience of some of these people that were applying. Did, was it sort of eye-opening that people with such experience wanted to be a part of this? Yeah, I mean, it just shows that uh, people care about Clay County and that this is their second career and that they have rich experience and they want to come be a, a greater part of protecting our, our greatest assets, which are our students. Davis says for now, the school safety officers will remain anonymous to students, allowing them to be better prepared should something happen. Parents looking to get more information about the responsibilities these school safety officers will have can go to our website, news4jacks.com. In Green Cove Springs, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.